Hey, I love what we've been studying in 1 Samuel. It's really good stuff. But we miss a part of the story if we don't read David's journals along with what's happening to David in 1 Samuel. And that's what Psalms are all about, okay? In, in 1 Samuel, we see what's going on in David's life, but in the Psalms show us what's going on in David's head. And he, he wrote these journals out, basically, that became the book of Psalms, a big chunk of the book of Psalms. And, and he wrote these out, just his innermost thoughts and what he was going through and the prayers that he prayed and the songs that he sung. And we get to see those. And it's an incredible thing. And I want to read to you Psalms 142. And uh, it says this. It's great. It's only seven verses. And, and he wrote this when he's hiding in a cave. He is hiding in a cave, all just just feeling like he's been... been uh, abandoned and, and separated from everything he knows and loves. And this is how he pours out his heart to God. I cry out to the Lord. I plead for the Lord's mercy. I pour out my complaints before him and tell him all my troubles. When I am overwhelmed, you alone know the way I should turn. Wherever I go, my enemies have set traps for me. I look for someone to come and help me, but no one gives me a passing thought. No one will help me. No one cares a bit what happens to me. Then I pray to you, O Lord. I say, you are my place of refuge. You are all I really want in life. Hear my cry, for I am very low. Rescue me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison so I can thank you. The godly will crowd around me, for you are good to me. I love the raw honesty and just the real emotion that you sense in Psalms because it's all stuff that we have felt. And I love the fact that God included this in the Bible. It's not an easy self-help thing. We, we see the just the, the thoughts of David. He's on the run. He's scared for his life. And, and he's pouring out his heart to God. And he's being real gut level honest with God. And if he can, so can we. These are not the writings of someone who knows all the answers. But these are the writings of someone who knows God. And these are the writings of somebody that looks to us and says, hey, you are not alone. And, and that's the most powerful thing we can hear sometimes. When, when you're in a jam, when it feels like people are attacking you, a real good place to turn is the book of Psalms because you realize that someone has gone through it before. And you see the raw honesty of a, a, a wannabe king who is, is and a going to be king, and you see him walking through a real dark time, and you see how he reacts to people, you see how he reacts to God, and it's a, it's a really good just tutorial for us in how to deal with life, because people are going to attack us, people are going to, to try to destroy us, but... Let's, let's just pour out our heart to God. Let, we might not know all the answers, but we do know him. And so we can turn to him and find great refuge. And I, I love the fact that the Bible reveals not only what's going on in the life of some of the heroes, but what's going on in the head and the heart. And that's something we can hold on to. God bless you guys. Giddy up.